In this video, I'm going to show you 10 guitar hacks and tricks you need to know, starting with hack number one. The most important step after putting on a brand new set of strings should be correctly stretching them in. If you've experienced the frustration of changing all your guitar strings only to have to keep retuning them every time you so much as touch the guitar, then you most likely have missed a very important step. After putting on a brand new set of strings and tuning them to pitch, simply stretch each string along the length of the neck and check your tuning. It should now be flat, so tune back up and repeat the process until the string holds its tuning. Repeat this process again for each string and you will have a guitar that stays perfectly in tune for much longer, allowing you to appreciate the sound of your new strings without them being a source of frustration. And here's a quick bonus tip. If you take any cloth and use it to slide up and down the length of the string while pulling, the friction of this process will cause the string to heat up and help to get the string used to its new tension. If you've just changed the strings on your guitar, you will be left with something that looks like this. Now what most people do here is reach for those string cutters. If you do this, you will be left with sharp ends which inevitably you will end up pricking your finger on. Instead, make one sharp bend clockwise and one sharp bend counterclockwise, and then simply wiggle the string back and forth a few times until the string breaks, leaving you with a clean looking headstock with no pointy strings of doom. If you have a loose screw anywhere on your guitar, then this can be remedied by using a simple item probably buried in the back of your kitchen cupboard. Simply fit as many toothpicks as you can into the hole, break off the ends, then put the screw back in and tighten it up. And now that your screw has something more to grip onto, it will stay put. Occasionally you will find that your strings will get caught in the nut slot of your guitar, causing tuning issues, especially during big bends or tuning. This is easily fixed with one of these. Simply sharpen a pencil and draw into each nut slot. As the graphite within a pencil works as a lubricant, this will allow the string to move much more freely without getting stuck. But if you don't like the thought of messing up the look of your nut with graphite, as this does get messy, then you could use a product built specifically for the job, such as Big Ben's Nut Sauce. If, like many guitarists, you spend the majority of your playing or practicing time sat down, then when you eventually go to perform live and are required to play standing up, this can cause issues, as you discover that nothing you play feels quite as comfortable as it did before. The simple fix for this one is setting your strap height correctly. Take a seat and set your strap height so that when you stand up, the guitar doesn't move position at all. This way, you should feel just as comfortable in a seated or standing playing position. If you own a Strat style guitar, you will most likely have encountered one very common issue that can soon put an end to that soaring guitar solo. The placement of the volume knob on S-type guitars can easily get in the way while playing, and as these are so easy to move, you will find that your volume can go from 10 to 0 in one missing strum. So here's one DIY hack to solve this issue. Take any household sponge and cut to size. Poke a hole through the center and take the volume knob off. Place the sponge on the volume pot and place the knob back on again. You will now find it becomes far harder to move the volume knob back and forth. You can also use a rubber washer or even a fender strap lock cut to size for even more friction. And if you're not too bothered about aesthetics, you could do what I do and simply take it off. If you've experienced scratchy or noisy sounding pots on your electric guitars, then there's a simple fix. Grab yourself a can of switch cleaning lubricant, the most popular being Deoxit. Simply open up your guitar to gain access to the pots. You will see a clear opening in which you can place the nozzle. One small spray will do the job, and afterwards move the knob back and forth a few times to make sure it gets spread evenly. This also works on noisy pickup selectors and is much simpler. Spray it directly into the pickup selector and toggle it back and forth a few times. In fact, go ahead and use this on input jacks, amp knobs and guitar pedals. It's pricey, but it will keep your gear well maintained and noise free. If you're sick of guitar strings getting dirty and rusty, forcing you to change strings way more often than you would like, it may be time to switch to elixirs. These strings are protected by a special coating, preventing everyday gunk from building up between the windings, killing your tone and causing rust and tuning issues. These strings have a long lifespan and also minimize finger squeak. I have these on all my guitars and I highly recommend them. If you're at a band rehearsal and want to play something from your phone, it can be hard for a small device to be heard over the sound of the drummer or guitarist that feels in between songs is the perfect time to be practicing the latest lick or fill. Solve this by holding your phone up to your guitar's pickup and crank up the volume.
Ideally though, you should always have one of these in your gig bag so that you can plug your phone directly into a mixer. You can also play sounds through your guitar pickups to create interesting soundscapes using a loop pedal. Interesting soundscapes. For the biggest hack of all, if you haven't been progressing on guitar as fast as you think you should and are struggling with topics such as the cage system for guitar, chord construction or how to solo effectively, then consider subscribing to my channel for weekly animated guitar lessons that get straight to the point. And let me know your favourite guitar hacks or tricks down in the comments. See you in the next one.